All right, in this video, we are going to draw this object in Inventor using these two DWG files made in AutoCAD. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw these in AutoCAD. I created dimensioned front and back views so we can easily draw it without referencing the book. So let's draw this front video first. You wanna make sure your units are in inches. All right, then we're gonna draw these center circles first. So go to circle, center diameter. We're gonna start our drawing at zero comma zero, enter. And then first is 1.25, enter. And then we are going to do that again and do 0.75 diameter. All right, then we're going to draw a circle. Um, let's do a center diameter circle. We're going to draw this at one comma one, enter, with a diameter of 0.5, because we can see that from the middle up is one, and from the middle down is two. So it'll be one over to the right one, and then up one. And then let's do that again. This time from the center, it's going to be negative one comma one. So we wanna to go to the left. We wanna to go to the left one and up one. And then that's gonna be 0.5 enter. Then we're going to draw this again. This one's just gonna be negative one comma negative one enter, 0.5 enter, and then here we're going to do to the right one which is one and then down one which is negative one enter with a diameter of 0.5 enter all right now we're going to do these radius 0.625 circles so go to center radius do it in the center point of these so the radius is going to be 0.625 enter do that again, 0.625, enter, 0.625, then 0.625, enter. And then we're going to draw these radius 0.75 inch circles that are tangent, tangent radius to these circles. So we can go circle, Tan tan radius, click here, click here, the radius is 0.75, enter. Do that again, here, here, 0.75, enter. Here, here, 0.75, enter. Here, here, and then 0.75, enter. Now we need to trim, so go to trim says select objects or select all. We're gonna select all by right clicking on our mouse and then come here and just select using your clicking or box select to trim. All right. All right, and then escape. And here's our front view. We're gonna save this, do control S to save and then go to the back. And let's draw this. We're going to draw a center diameter circle at zero comma zero. And then the diameter is 3.25, enter. Do another one at the center or zero, zero. That has a diameter of 1.2, enter. All right, then we just have to draw those four circles that have a diameter of 0.5. It says the center point, we know it's going to be up by 125 and just over zero. So the X is going to be zero, comma, and the Y is going to be 1.125, enter. And the diameter is 0.5, enter. All right. And you can draw those again, just like we did in the previous front drawing, how, or you can use polar array. So go down here click polar array. We're going to select this object, hit enter. The center point of the array is going to be this right here, zero, zero. 
All right, and then for number of items, we want four items. And you can see now there's those four items. Click close array, and then hit save or control S on your keyboard as a shortcut. All right, so your drawing should look like this and like this. I'm going to close all of these files. And then you'll go to Inventor and open up a new part file in inches. I already did that prior to the video. We are going to expand that group and draw a new sketch on the XY plane. All right, and then in your sketch tab, you should go to under insert panel, there's this ACAT or AutoCAD or drawing file, click that. We're gonna do, um, we drew this actual front video, but I'm just gonna do this front one that I previously drew, so front open. taking a second to load. So, all right, here we go. And you can actually turn layers on and off here. So I could turn this off and you can see it goes away, but obviously I need my object layer on. <laughs> then we're gonna go to next. And then um, make sure you check constrained endpoint. Okay, and then click finish. All right, so. Now we are going to go to 3D model and click extrude. We want to extrude this profile. All right, and actually, let's just extrude this one too. There's many ways that you can actually do this, but we're gonna do it this way. All right, and for the uh, dimension, look, okay, it says 0.5. So we want this to be 0.5 here. All right, awesome. So we're gonna extrude 0.5. Okay. And then we want to actually create that 0.2 um, fold there. So we're going to click expand on extrusion one, right click on sketch one and click share sketch. We can actually just use this sketch. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to right click extrusion and click edit feature. And then I'm going to make it go the other way so that on the XY plane, we have this sketch on there. So click okay. okay. Now our sketch is actually on this, the front face here. Um, so now we're gonna click this, go to extrude. I'm gonna click this circle and I'm going to go the other way. And in the book, it says that this is 0.2. And click okay all right great and then we are going to have to um, do the back portion and to do that we are going to create an offset plane um, in the book it says it's 2.2 the front face of the back drawing is 2.2 from the front face of this drawing so let's go to this plane let's do offset from plane we're going to offset from this we want it to be you can actually click it and drag so this is the negative direction we want it to be negative 2.2 all right and then we are going to uh, create a new sketch on this plane so click the plane new sketch and then we're going to go to ACAD. We are going to click the back drawing, open. All right, and then wait for it to load. All right, and there's our drawing, click next. Okay, make sure these are, look like this, and then go to finish. All right, so now we have this drawing here, as you can see. Uh, 
we are going to extrude that by 0.5. So go to 3D model, extrude, click on this, and then um, we are going to actually click on both. All right, and then we are going to extrude this the other direction by 0.5, okay? All right, great. And then we want to actually extrude that 1.2 circle all the way to this space. So let's click down and right click on sketch two and do share sketch. All right. And then we're going to do extrude. And our profile is going to be this one. And for the extents, we're going to do two, uh, not two nuts, two. And then we are going to go over here and click on this back face. All right, great. And then click OK. All right, so let's hide this work plane now. Um, you just right click on it and then click the visibility. So there's no check mark. Let's hide this back sketch too. So right click and click visibility. All right, and then all we have to do left is actually extrude this hole all the way through. You can see how it stops right there. So we still have this sketch visible, right? Um, so let's just do one more extrusion. Go to extrude, click on this profile. We want to go the other way. We want to cut. And we can actually just do all, so this all the way through and click OK. And then we are going to right click and uh, let's see, oh, right click this one and click visibility. And then do an isometric view. And that is our finished part.